All right. So we could go back up in here and talk to Bonnie, or we could go talk to the uh, to the Mark. Well, hold on, where? Hold on, guys. Let me see some. Got his name already. Uh, Marshall Johnson and Armadillo. Okay. Um. Decision, decision, decision. I think I'm going to go up in there and talk to Bonnie. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the reins, Mr. Marshall. I surely will. This right here worked itself out. She going to Armadillo. I need to go to Armadillo to talk to talk to that Johnson guy. So cool. All right, Let's get up in here. Let's go. You're looking much better, considering you were all on buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, Miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life oh, to the last boat? Oh. No, Miss. Trying to try to keep these horses in line, they gonna. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. See, see now, see now we top heavy guys. We top heavy, so this thing can top. You can top with them. An admirable attitude, Miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. What the fuck did I'm you just say? If you are, <laughs> you are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. All right, guys, sometimes when when we get on this road, I'm going to be quiet. And let them talk because that uh kind of progresses the story. So you want to hear what they got have to say sometimes. I have a small holding up in great plane. Get out of the way, damn it. Get you out of the way before I run them over go. I got roll rage. I got roll rage. <laughs> this is old school roll rage, baby. Get out of the way, bitch. Fight them. Our horses gonna fight each other, guys. I'm gonna make them fight. Like two two damn pet bulls. <laughs> Uh, don't fight dogs, though, guys. That's that's not good. You, you can end up like Vic. Don't you do it. Don't you dare do it. Got a fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. There we go. Fuck. We going too damn slow. They 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 bullshitting up here, guys. They bullshit. I really do have road rage right now, though. That's crazy. It's a video game. It's a video game, Cooper. Yeah, he got the, uh, he got the trike. He got the tricycle up here, man. Damn, it look like. I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who is we? Me and the folks I used to, used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. Now, we almost there, guys. We almost there. The old ways still hold true. Do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. Do a man right, well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea. All right, we're in Armadillo. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston, what dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cord. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. All right, guys. We're going to the doctor's office. Got to get those test results. All right. See, I don't know why the hell I'm walking so slow, guys. How would Armadillo get by without me? All right. Let's talk to the doctor. Why, hello. I'm C. 
sell them some good tonics if you need them. Hello. I guess we can only buy the medicine right here, which is free. Tell me I, don't know. I definitely will buy it. All right, that's uh, that's it. So all she wrote. Can't get no chewing tobacco. I can't get the delicious ass apple either. Huh? So when did when did apples start healing? Uh, Appreciate it. I know this uh helps out uh teeth, makes teeth stronger. But that's that's only you have a small uh, doctor's office, uh, sir. It looked like you did some operating on somebody just recently, and then changed the damn sheets. I'm gonna report you to the board, to the board of the the, the Better Business Bureau. All right, where, where are we going now? Where are we going now? I guess we're going in a general store. Where is that? Um, uh, I wonder if they're gonna give give me the option to uh go see that Johnson guy. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, Miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight. Okay. Cool. All right, we got plus 50 honor. Let's see, where is that? Uh, hmm. I guess we go to the M to talk to uh, talk to the guy. Let me just make sure one more time, guys. It's not telling me anymore. It's not telling me. Hold on. I got the notes. Challenges. I'm not trying to do any challenges, guys. I'm I'm pretty much gonna stay on the main mission, just to be honest with you. Alright, I was just looking over some some stuff real quick. Alright, we're gonna go to the uh, to the M on the map. Right in front of us. Look at the doggy. Look at him. Look at Fido. Oh yeah, can't okay. can I pet him? Can't can't pet him? Okay. They still want, they don't want me to pet him. Okay, so this is the sheriff's office. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. <laughs> oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. Could he stop spitting on the floor? Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? 
He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. You got a whole lot of damn problems. <laughs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Let's head over to the saloon. All right. Let's get to the saloon, guys, and see see what the business is. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. Oh, oh I'm, I'm about to knock the old man off. <laughs> I was trying to get by him, but he walked too damn slow. There's a dumb rat bastard now. Oh, uh, we about to have a shootout, guys. We about to get it. Look at his ass. Look like a, look like the Mad Hatter. Look like the cat in the hat. <laughs> Top screw. Alright, let's uh Okay, cool. Let's uh what a horse is it. That's it for right now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a fave. Next episode coming soon. Stay tuned.